My name is Andrew Ide, I'm a hitting manager here at Driveline. Our hitting assessment gives us a holistic view into you as a hitter. We're able to measure and grade you on our big three. Our big three are bat speed, bat to ball skills, and swing decisions. So essentially we can tell how fast you're moving the bat, how well you control the bat or the barrel, swing decisions, or play discipline. We're also getting a very detailed look at what is happening in your swing, leading up to contact, and also post contact. So leading up to contact, we're able to look at what your body is doing and also what the bat is doing. So for your body, we're able to do this with our motion capture lab and also with K-Vest. So we're able to look at the positions your body's getting into at different times in the swing, how well you're getting into those positions and out of those positions, if your body's firing in the right order, and then also how fast those body segments are moving. For your bat, we're able to tell how fast the bat is moving, um, the angles that the bat is creating, kind of like what your bat path is doing, and we're able to do this with blast motion, dye mechanics, and other bat sensors. Post contact, we're able to measure every single bat of ball um, the, and swing that you take in here through hit tracks and rap soto. So we're able to tell how hard you're hitting the ball, how far you're hitting the ball, the angles that you're hitting the ball, and all this can be broken down by field. So pull, middle, and oppo, and also by strike zone. So we can very quickly tell what pitches you hit well and what pitches you don't. That way, whenever you leave, we can also help you build an approach. All this is collected during the week. Also during the week, we're constantly, constantly communicating with our strength staff and also our on-site physical therapists. Then at the end of the week, we sit down with you and we go over everything that was collected and any notes from our strength staff and our physical therapist. Then following this meeting, we immediately hop in the cage and we work one-on-one -on -one in the first step of implementing this plan. So we will hop in the cage and start doing drills that are custom to you to address what was just discussed in the meeting. Then following that, you can either go into group training, go into online, or take your plan home uh, to start implementing there. This allows us to give you the best chance for success and to take your career to the next level. Hi, I'm Stefan Simmons, head strength coach at Driveline. The high performance assessment at Driveline starts on the table. Uh, we're gonna get the athlete up onto the table and take a look at all the major joints and just ensure that the athlete doesn't have any major restrictions in any of those joints. The second part of the driveline HP assessment, we're gonna get the athlete up on the force plates. These will allow us to take a look at the athlete's maximal strength, explosive strength, reactive strength, as well as any asymmetries that the athlete displays during testing. The combination of these two portions of the assessment is going to allow us to develop a plan for the athlete. That plan is gonna be able to identify and attack any weaknesses, as well as maximize any strengths that that athlete currently displays. The last thing that we're going to be able to do with information from the assessment is compare the athletes to the peers. It's going to allow us to identify any area in which they're significantly stronger or weaker than their peers and attack those specific areas. Hi, my name is Terry Phillips. I'm the physical therapist here at Driveline Baseball. Um, I'll be the, running, the one that's running you through your physical therapy assessment, which for pitchers is going to be on day one, for hitters is going to be day two. Uh, the exam is going to consist of uh, doing passive range of motion testing of both the upper and lower extremities, as well as the cervical spine, thoracic spine, and uh, lumbar spine. Uh, we're also going to include a quick gait analysis, manual muscle testing, some neurological testing. The purpose of the exam is to determine if there's anything that may be limiting you on the, either on the skill side or on the high performance side during your stay at driveline. After the exam, we'll determine if there's any type of corrective exercise or any other treatments that we need to do to help you achieve your goals while you're here. Um, and we'll lay out a plan of care as far as how often you need to see me, whether it be like once a week, every couple of weeks, or just like once and you should be good to go.